Hello there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I said that I was going to do a little um, Christmas haul video for you guys, showing you a few of the things that my family and my friends got me for Christmas. So I feel really blessed. Uh, I feel pretty blessed all year around, um, every year, and, and this is no exception. So I just wanted to show you a few of the things that I got in case you're interested. And I will do my best to have things linked down below in case it's something that you want to check out. Um, so yeah, and if you have any questions about things, go ahead and leave those down in the comments below. So to start off, I got this Draw Your Day book by, and I can't even, I can't read it. I think it's Samantha Dion Baker. Um, I had put this on my wish list on Amazon and because it was something I was just interested in doing. I like to sit and doodle sometimes. I'm not really great at it, and I do love to paint. I'm much better at painting what other people have drawn. <laughs> uh, not so much about drawing myself, or drawing things myself, and then coloring those. So I thought this might be fun to just kind of get me in the habit of drawing every day. And so my sweet, sweet daughter spent her own hard-earned cash and she bought me this book, and so I've started reading, and I'm I'm getting getting into it, and it'll I'm, anyway. I might be able to do a review later if it's something you guys are interested in, but I do know that it is on Amazon, so I will have that linked down below, and hopefully this will help me to get a little bit more. Yeah, there's her name, Samantha Dion Baker. Um, get me more into the mode of drawing on a daily basis and painting on a daily basis. So, so I got that. Next, I got a flat brush. This is the half inch flat brush, um, silver black velvet. I had put this on my wish list as well, and my husband got me this. He's so funny because he's like, I did not realize how expensive paint brushes can be. Because I think he had planned to maybe get me a few more, but then he realized these are not cheap. But um, this is great. I have this one, and this is just the number four. Uh, and I use this all the time. And this one will be nice. The flat brush will be nice to do flat washes on my background. So I'm, I'm excited about you getting a chance to use that. So kudos to him. He did well. Um, and then my sweet friend Erica, she got me, she and her family got me several things. I <laughs> was overwhelmed with how wonderful they were to me. So I got this giant 16 sheets of Strathmore watercolor paper. She knows I use this. This is the 300 series. This is good and thick. 9 by 12, um, 140 pound. So y'all know if you watch my videos, I do like to use this stuff in my card making. So this stuff is great. Um, I know you can get this stuff at like Michael's for sure. Uh, Hobby Lobby, absolutely. You can get it on Amazon. I will have stuff list, um, linked down below, but I'm I'm excited. She knows what I like. So she also got me the dye brush and foam pad, which I'm excited about. So this is it's from Sizzix. It's great for those intricate dyes. And um, let me just open that real quick. I don't mind sitting and, you know, poking out all the holes for the intricate dies, but this will make things so much better, so much nicer to be able to, because what I'll typically do is I will take just my little paper piercer and I will poke all the little pieces out of those intricate dies. Let's see if I have a couple. Uh, I don't have any sitting right here, but you know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So this will be nice because it'll just be able to, you know, kind of go over the top of that die and then you can get all the little pieces out. So excited about that. Thank you. And I'll have, a, again, I'll have that stuff listed down below if I can find those for you. So you'll be seeing me use this. She also got me an art impression set. This one is, um, what is this one called? I don't know. It doesn't have the name on it. It's by Hampton Art. It doesn't have the name on it. But, oh my gosh, are those so cute? So it's a clear stamp. 
by Art Impressions, and it's got these ladies. It says, happy birthday, enjoy the ride. At, your at our age, we'd rather be fun than dignified. <laughs> Shopping is always a good idea. I see no good reason to act our age. Had a girl. Um, I can't read that last one. Let me get that out. I'm not a shopaholic. I'm helping the economy and got style, question mark. And I told her one of the things I really loved about our impressions is their packaging is great because it always shows how they've colored things. So it makes it so much easier to know where your shadowing goes. And she was listening. So I'm excited to, to play around with this one. Um, I don't know what the name of it's called. It doesn't have the name on it. But uh, if I can find something, you know, like it, I will, I will link it down below. I'm excited, though. Ugh, I love coloring these. She also got me, and I don't have any of this, so this girl has been paying attention, I'm telling you. I got some Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. I'm, I'm stoked to try this. This is called the Sea Spray Green. And I haven't even opened it yet, but I'm, I'm very excited. So, from what I understand, you definitely want to keep... Oops, let's... So I'll keep my, this will keep it kind of moist, but you know, you can use your sponge with it. You can use, let's grab some paper and try it out. So you can use your sponge with it. You can use your fingers with it. And oh my gosh, look at that. So it has a shimmery look to it. Isn't that nice? And it's pretty. And so you can even do it over, um, stencils. Let me pull out a stencil really quick and we'll show you just a little bit. And um, I'll just use my finger because it doesn't really matter. It's good. So look at that. And then it'll even give a little bit of dimension. So you can add some dimension to it by putting it on there, you can even scrape it out and, you know, anyway, there's, there's a lot of different ways to use it. I need to probably do a little bit more research on it, but the color is really pretty. That is super pretty. Sea spray green. I like that. All right. So let's set that off to the side. And she's brilliant because she also got me this six inch magnetic parts holder. And I'm telling you, I think sometimes that lady and I, Erica and I are like totally on the same wave, same wavelength. So I had seen something similar to this. I was watching um, somebody's scrap room tour and I just, just to get ideas because I don't know, it's a good idea to have some ideas, right? So I saw that this person had two of these and I thought, boy, that's such a great idea. So it's a magnetic parts holder. And, you know, we use a lot of dies in our stamping. So this is a great way to not lose your dies. Like you can set it in there and this isn't going anywhere. Because sometimes, I don't know if you notice while you're crafting, if you've got dies out and they're little, sometimes they can get lost. Or if there's this particular die that you use a lot, sometimes it might be nice to just have it in the bowl or have it, you know, um, close by so this will keep you from losing it and it, it's magnetic on the side here too so you could stick it if you had like say a file folder or whatever you could stick it on the file folder and you could have it there um i saw this on that video and i thought i have got to get a couple of those and wouldn't you know it that night we had opened presents and this was in there i could not believe that this was in there so i'm so excited about that she reads my mind i'm telling you and then my sweet, sweet husband ended up, you know, he went on my wish list. I, you know, I tease about how he doesn't do that, but he did go on my wish list and he got me the very last two sets of Distress Oxide inks. I could not be happier. And I had already had the labels printed out because I, you know, arranged the first two sets that I have. I had bought the first set and then my mom and her husband got me the second set. And so I had those all labeled and, and set and ready to go. And then, so I thought, well, maybe I will end up getting the next sets later on. Well, I did because he got me both of them. 
And so they are super pretty colors. And I, you know, it's funny, I even thought, oh, I could probably get by without. Um, I'll probably be fine. And you know what, you would be, but then there's every once in a while you just want this one color, and the only way to get that color is to have the whole set, or to just buy. And I thought about buying individually, but he beat me to it, and I'm super happy, so I have them all now. Every last one of them. So now my issue is organization. Organization. Um, I don't have room on my wall to to put the rest of these inside the stamp holder um, that I stamp pad holder that I do have, and I cannot find the stamp pad holder. I have said before that I have been stamping, golly, for about 17, about 17 years now, like full on stamping, and um, stepped away for it for a couple years while I was having knee surgeries. But I'm you know back full force. Anyway, um, I can't find that stamp holder anymore, so I'm kind of having to do some research on different organizational organizational ideas and um, so I've been watching lots of videos and it's probably silly for me to go crazy trying to organize right now I am gonna have to do a, a bit of downsizing because we will be moving this year I have no idea where so uh, don't ask I just I don't know I just know for sure that by this summer we will be in a new location <laughs> And I don't know if I'll have a room to craft in. I'm hoping I will, but um, so I need to start being a little bit more organized and a little bit more intentional in in the types of things that I buy and and the organization that I do have. So I've been doing lots of research, and who knows? I may buy a piece or two before we leave, but. Once we get settled sometime this summer, my hope is that I will have a, a craft room tour for you guys so that you can see how I organize. Right now, I am I think I'm in a space that's just a little over 5 foot by 12 foot, and um, maybe not quite that big, but I know that um, my desk fits like just perfectly in this space. So um, sometimes I have a small space, sometimes I have a bigger space. It's the accordion lifestyle is what we like to call it, and so... Um, I don't know what I'll have next time, so it's probably better if I, if I just try and stick with small. So I need to be a little bit better about my organization and the products that I buy and use. So I will be downsizing, so keep an eye out for um, a video coming of doing some de-stashing. I plan to get rid of the Stampin' Up! inks that I do have on hand. They're a little bit older, but they all work great, and I have the reinkers for most of them. So keep an eye out for that, because I want to be... Um, a little bit more organized there too. So anyway, uh, thanks for checking out my haul. If there's anything here in particular you want to see me use, or if you have any questions about things, let me know, and I will have things linked down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for stopping by.